in Ephesians 5. In fact, it's, Ephesians 5 is considered the greatest treatise in the New Testament on marriage. And verse 33 is the summary statement. It is as though this is God's last word to the church on marriage. Not chronologically, but most would say in terms of progressive revelation, this is God's final word. Well, what is it that Ephesians 5.33 says? Well, let's take a look at it up here. Each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Now, when I meditated on that, there was no debate about a husband loving his wife. Happy wife, happy life. I mean, the, the, we have been pumped in marriage conferences. Men, you know, just do your thing, love your wife and everything. And so, it was just, and so a lot of men are just feeling beat up, feel ashamed. You know, you, you can only exhort men so long, and they'll just kind of shut down on you. And men are, and we've concluded that because men don't want to go to marriage conferences, that they're indifferent to marriage. When I wrote Love and Respect, the, um, the uh, editors and the publishers said, we want you to write this marriage book to women. And I said, why? Because I knew where this question was going. But I said, why? Well, because women are the ones that buy the marriage books. And I said, did it ever occur to you? It's because you keep telling people like me who write to write the books to women. Let me write this in a fair and balanced way. Where in the scripture does it teach that men are indifferent to marriage? In Malachi, he breaks the covenant. In Proverbs 3, she does. I went through every verse dealing with marriage, not just principles that could apply. 1 Corinthians 13, it's wonderful, it could apply, but it's not about marriage. I looked at every passage dealing with marriage, and I realized there's no indication that he's 99% of the reason for the breakup of the relationship. In fact, right now, did you know the epi- it's called the, the walkaway woman? Women are leaving marriage three to one more than men are. Your son will not leave the marriage. Your daughter-in-law will. But in terms of sensitivity and sentimentality, in terms of nurturing care and love, you women are off the charts. There's no question about that. You are uh, just incredibly wonderful. All the research on caregivers and love and giving, and we'll make comment about that in just a moment. You're just incredible. And we'll explain, though, why there's a huge misunderstanding. I don't believe, though, here's the point, that he's indifferent to marriage. But he is not speaking the same mother tongue that you speak. He has a different mother tongue. It's what we call respect talk or the whole idea of honor and what we are. But even that's been labeled as narcissistic. So what happens, all this gets filtered through a pink grid rather than letting blue address it. And this has been a a huge issue. The love side has been a huge area of study for me, but also the respect side. Pat Riley, for instance, had me come speak to the Miami Heat. Pat and I spent four hours talking about issues of honor, how men are motivated by honor. And when men are treated justly and honored, they'll serve. When men feel that you're treating them unfairly and in a dishonoring way, you'll lose their heart every time. And so one of the keys is how how do you motivate a man to be loving? By appealing to a sense of honor. Just as you appeal to a woman to put on respect that we'll talk about in a moment by appealing to her instinct to love. If you talk about meeting his need to feel respected for who he is apart from his performance, that you have unconditional positive regard toward the spirit of your husband, not toward his behavior. Men don't respect bad behavior in our own world, but we respectfully confront bad behavior. There's a difference. You don't motivate someone to change and become loving on the heels of contempt. No husband feels fond feelings of love and affection in his heart toward a wife he thinks despises who he is as a human being. He's not going to open up. You're not going to connect with him. He'll close off every time. Just as a woman will not respond sexually to harshness and anger and hostility. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.